Hey viewers, this is a 1981 Trek 412 that I bought a while back. And one of the cool things on this bike is this handlebar tape. It's cloth handlebar tape. And I thought this might be the original factory handlebar tape. So I contacted Trek and they confirmed that this is like the correct material and style that the, these uh, bikes were wrapped with back then. So I believe that this is in fact the original factory handlebar tape. So what, I what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap these handlebars and uh, document how they're wrapped so that I can learn the whole you know, pattern that, they, that they're wrapped with. And then I have another Trek 412 1980. I'm going to wrap the handlebars on that with some brand new tape, but using the same style as this because I'm doing a restore on that bike. So I figured this would be useful information for anybody wanting to do a restore on a vintage Trek. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Oh, and ignore the uh, the hoods. I've already replaced the hoods on here because the original hoods that were on here were just disintegrated. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Now before I start unwrapping, I wanna put, point a few things out. This handlebar tape is wrapped from the center out. Unlike uh, modern uh, handlebar tapes, which are wrapped from the end in, uh, the reason being is they're softer, fatter, and if you wrap them from the, the middle out, the, the edges here are exposed and they'll roll up. With the cloth tape, that doesn't happen. Uh, so the, they wrapped it from the, the middle out. And this, ta this tape is wrapped very, very tight. And it looks like they wrapped right up to where there's like a lip on the handlebar here, where there's like a little uh, drop off there. They wrapped it just right up flush up against that there. And then something else a little bit different than uh, modern handlebars when they're wrapped is there's like a little bit of the handlebar and clamp here exposed on this side and also on the outside as well. Uh, like on modern handlebar tapes, they normally put like a little piece of tape over that and wrap it so that this is all covered. But on these, there's like a little bit of exposed on there. So that just be aware that that's the case. And then looking at the overlap here is it looks like the, t the, the tape is probably about uh, two centimeters wide, but the overlap here is maybe about six millimeters. And so then here, even on the outside of the bar here, uh, there's maybe about uh, five millimeters out here, but then it's a little bit uh, more on there. So. There's like the exposed tape here is about uh, 15 millimeters of exposed tape there and about five millimeters, uh, six millimeters of tape overlapped there. And then it looks like the end of the tape here is tucked in and held on by a little uh, bar and plug. And there's like a little Phillips screw here so I can loosen this and pull this out and this uh, bar and plug here, it's a Cat Eye Model 300 made in Japan. And so now I can pull the tape out from inside the bar here. It looks like the amount of tape here is about two inches or about uh, five centimeters there of uh, bar and tape that was tucked inside the handlebar. And it feels like there's adhesive on the back of the handlebar tape. So I'll go ahead and peel this off. And notice it's wrapped from the uh, inside out. And up oh, that tore a little bit there. Looks like this original, maybe the original color of this tape was uh, maybe black and it faded to brown. Interesting. And then the, 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 the tape width is, yeah, it's about uh, two centimeters wide is the tape width on here. And I'll pull back this hood here. Just roll this back here, get, get this out of the way. Like that, and then continue unwrapping here. I 
Okay, so then it kind of wraps here. It's going to come up behind the brake lever. Up here. Back down below there again. So, then back down there and then continue up here. So what it looks like it's going to, like when I go to wrap it, it's going to wrap around down here. So it's always wrapping in the same direction, doesn't change direction, but it wraps around, down around there, back behind, up, then back down and around. So, then I'll continue unwrapping it here. Okay, and then I'm almost here to the, the, uh, the top of the bar. So wrap this around. This comes around. And see how they, see how they get started here. So it comes around. And so it starts right back here. And then it looks like they maybe do about uh, two centimeters worth of overlap and then start spiraling out. So then that comes off like that and so now all the handlebar tape is off. Okay stretching out the unwrapped tape it's a little over eight feet or almost two and a half meters uh, long. So that should give you an idea of how much tape you're going to need to rewrap the handlebars. Now this is the tape that I pulled off of the, the handlebars. I don't know what brand it is, um, but you can try to match it. It's got uh, like a long diagonal grain that runs this way here. I thought it might be cat eye brand tape um, because that's what the, the bar and plug was, uh, said was cat eye. And so I bought some vintage cloth tape, cat eye number 3000. And so here it is here, and it actually has a very similar texture to the, what was on, on the handlebars, but the uh, grain runs diagonally the opposite direction. So on this roll of tape here, it runs this way, where the original tape it runs this way. So it is different. It could be that there's different variations of the cat eye tape, uh, depending on when it was manufactured, I don't know. But I'm going to be wrapping it with black tape, and I got this at the local bike shop. Uh, it's more generic tape, and it actually has sort of a V pattern in there. This will be good for right now. So later on, maybe I can find more of an exact match of the tape uh, that was on there, and I can rewrap it at that point. Now this is my 1980 Trek 412, and I'm going to be rewrapping the handlebars on this uh, with the black tape using the same style that I pulled the tape off of the other bike. And I've already rolled up the hoods on the brakes to get them out of the way. Now I'm going to start here uh, on the inside here, and so I have the tape here, and I'm going to start this here with the, the end of the tape right in the middle of the back side of the handlebar there and I'm going to have this flush up against this little lip there like this. So I'm going to start this down here like this then wrap this around and I'm going to be wrapping this tight. I'm going to have a lot of tension on this and then I'm going to bring this around overlap it straight there so it's directly overlapping the first uh, part of the beginning there. And then when I get up to like the, the middle top here, just the top of the handlebar, now I'm going to start angling off here. And then I'm going to angle off. And I, a lot of tension on here. I'm going to be holding it tight. And what I'm going to do is this tape is about uh, 20 millimeters wide. And I want to overlap about 5 millimeters. So about a quarter width of the tape. So, I'm just going to be overlapping this here, about a quarter width of the tape and about five millimeters. And I'm going to be wrapping this nice and tight, lots of tension on this. And it's adhesive backed, and so if you kind of goof up a little bit, you can just kind of unwrap it a little bit and back up and uh, redo a part of it. Then as I get to the curb here, um, I want to keep the five millimeter overlapping on the outside here, but it'll be a uh, uh, bigger overlap on the inside 
but I want to keep on the outside at least about five millimeters of overlap. And again, I'm still going to keep it nice and tight. Lots of tension here. And I'm wrapping it over and forward this whole way. Okay, now I'm getting down to the uh, where the brake lever is here, and this is always one of the trickiest parts on wrapping handlebars. So I'm continuing wrapping the same direction, and I'm going to wrap this down, still overlapping, and bring this down to where it's just going to start uh, covering up the edge or the top of the uh, the brake lever part here. And I'm still pulling it tight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going in the same direction. I'm going to wrap it down back, down behind the brake lever there. Grow across here like this. Kind of overlap a little bit the bottom there. And then I'm going to come, keep going that around that same direction. And I'm still pulling it all nice and tight all during this. Bring this back up here. So right now there's an X across the back there. So there's part going down here and then the part coming back up here. I'm going to overlap this again. And then I'm going to come back down across again. Keeping this nice and tight. Try to keep it smoothed out here like this. Overlap this piece of tape down here again, and everything's nice and tight here. Bring this around, and then I'm going to start overlapping it again, uh, the quarter width of the tape, the five millimeters again. And just keep wrapping it again in the same direction. And we got the curve here, so I'm going to be wrapping, overlapping five millimeters on the outside there, and I'll probably be a little uh, more on the inside here. And then I'm continuing to wrap down here on the bottom the same way, overlapping about a quarter width or about five millimeters. And unless I overlap too much, I should still have some tape left at the very end here. Okay, now to finish this off, see I have this uh, uh, wrapped over so it is completely over overlapping the end of the bar there. And I could cut this off if I had a little too much on there, but I, I want to leave like a couple inches here. And now from here, I take all the rest of this tape and I can shove it inside the end of this handlebar. I use this to kind of push it in. Like that. Get all, make sure the whole outside of the handlebar is there covered. I've got my bar plug here and I can push this in. This will help push the tape inside there. I can push this in there like this. And then this has got the little Phillips screw in there to kind of tighten it in place. So I'll tighten this in. And this will lock the, uh, the bar plug in there in place. Okay, one side done. I just need to roll this hood back there like this. And there, that's all nice. I just need to do the other side and it's done the exact same way. It's just a mirror image of this. Start back here, roll around, keep doing it the same way. Anyway, that's, that's pretty nice. I barely had enough tape here to finish this, so I might have possibly overlapped this a little bit more than I wanted to, or it could have been that the, the uh, roll is maybe a little bit shorter. Uh, I don't know. But if worse comes to worst, I could have always just unwrapped it a little bit and then rewrapped it back. Uh, the tape is pretty forgiving on that. Anyway, hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please click like on my video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. It helps me out. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button. You'll see new videos as they come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. And I'm also over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page. I post a lot of stuff over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.